What's up, everybody? It's your man, Pots and Pans. I have a lot to say. Uh, a lot's happened. Um, a lot of things in my life have broken. Uh, luckily, not my spirit. However, my car, uh, some, some equipment that I use to vlog and do all these things. I have actually had a really tough time getting myself in just in line. Um, my car broke down and I had to like scrounge and I've been having to hustle and do a lot of things that I don't want to do to make up for that. It's a lot of money to get my car back on the road. I actually had to rent a car and so that's coming out of my pocket. It's been very, very rough and so I have a moment. I wasn't even planning on doing this video but I think this is really important and I got to the realization that like you just need to shut up and you need to do things and if you want to put on your big boy pants in life, this is what you have to do. Um, you can't let the little things get you down. You just have to keep moving forward because one thing I've noticed in life is if you can't handle the little things, you're not ready for the big things. I'm about to boil some eggs. Quick thing, if you want perfect hard boiled eggs, here's the deal. Cold water, put your eggs in it, bring it to a boil. When it boils, kill the heat. Let it sit for about eight to 10 minutes. Check it, do a little hypothermic conditioning for the eggs, uh, ice bath. Wim Hof, anybody? Plunge them into the ice, stop the cooling process, check your eggs, no green, no runny, all soft and yellow, okay? Perfect eggs, every time. Siri, set a timer for eight minutes. Siri! Gosh, she sucks. Few quick updates, aura ring. My precious. Got this, I started working with this company called Aura. They're pretty amazing. I already started sharing a few things online, collecting data, although this has been the absolute worst week to start collecting data on my lifestyle and my sleep because I haven't got to the gym. Uh, I haven't been sleeping well and I've been eating like a fucking pig. I posted this week in a story, a little example of my diet. It's ridiculous. Working really, really hard to get back on track. I'm gonna be talking about this ring extensively forever and throughout the universe because I love it. I love the people behind it and um, it's really, really dope. It's just, it's really dope. Still doing my youth mentor thing. We got the pasta cooking. We got the kids patiently waiting. Pasta's almost done. Bolognese is ready. You guys excited? Eh, be enthusiastic, you're on Instagram. <laughs> Finally, I have not done a cooking class in like weeks because honestly, I made excuses. And um, yes, I'm busy, but that can never be an excuse. You just have to be more efficient. You have to get your life together, schedule. I guess I just wasn't making a priority if I think about it logically and uh, if I'm honest. So I did that this week. All I did was instead of having it on Fridays, I changed it to Thursdays. It makes a lot more sense in my schedule. And so moving forward, I'll be able to do that a lot more. Took a couple of the guys out, my closest guys, um, to dinner. Got a little five guys, even though there was only four of us. <clears throat> Taught one of my brothers, Rondell, to uh, how to vlog. Tutu looking like the caramelized version of me. <laughs> While I wait for these eggs, this is what I wanted to tell you. This is the whole reason I'm doing this video. If I give you one piece of advice that I've learned recently, it is this. Life comes in waves. You're not gonna be 100 all of the time. Like, shit happens, people chase this weird facade, this imaginary place in time where you make it and you're successful and then life is just always grand all the time. You're always happy to chase this permanent state of bliss. And this has been a thing for, I don't know, when did Buddha exist? Like a long time ago? That's not what enlightenment is. Enlightenment isn't a permanent bliss state. It's knowing how to deal with shit when shit goes awry. When it hits the fan, you are st you're, you're just good. You, 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 you're not rocky in your foundations, okay? You know what to do when everything goes wrong. That's what mastery is. That's what success is. It's silly to think that you're just gonna be A1 all the time. You're not going to be. So this is what was running through my head all week. I was a little bit of bent out of shape, almost played that victim card, frustrated. I've been grinding, building my brand, doing all these things, and then a whole bunch of crap went crazy at one time, and then I was just like, 
this sucks. I don't know what to do. And so I wrapped my head around it, meditated on it, did some journaling, and I just got to the point where I was like, what are you bitching about? Like, what are you actually complaining about? If you wanna be in the limelight, if you wanna be this figure, whatever, the, this path that I'm choosing to go on, and you can't handle the little shit, like, what's wrong with you? And it's like, stop complaining. I, I, I hear other people complain all the time, and I get bummed out about it, or it bothers me in some way, because everyone's super entitled, like, but I was doing it. I, I caught myself doing it. And I know we're all human, but it's just like, I hold myself to such a high standard and I'm not gonna put up with that shit in my life. Oh, your car broke down? Uh, who, who fucking cares? Rent one. Oh, your, your favorite lens for your brand new camera broke? Uh, 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 who, who fucking cares? Use your phone. No one cares. Just get the shit done. Who? fucking cares you know the answer you, you got you know the answer to that question no one the bottom line is life is tough life is suffering in many aspects of it but like it is not attractive when you play the victim card nobody likes that people can be empathetic to whatever you're going through and there are people out there that care truly truly care but then they have their own shit to deal with Everyone, they can't just guide you through it. Like, no one is coming to rescue you. You have to take responsibility for your life and everything that happens in it. And so that's the realization that I came to. It's like, this is what you want. So deal with it. You asked for this. And don't shell up. When things go bad, don't, don't let a little thing knock you off course. My eggs are boiling. Stay on par. Keep pursuing your goals. Don't build walls. Don't close doors. Don't shell people out. Actually, do more. Give more. You can always do more. You can always give more to people. You can always lend an open hand. And that open hand actually allows you to receive more in return. When you pour from your own cup, that in turn leaves more room for your cup to be replenished. Oh man, that's deep. It's honestly not very hard to think about, but we shell up and we get caught up in all of our own bullshit and we forget all of those things. And so that was a huge realization for me. Even though that was a realization for me a long time ago, you just need reminders. And that's the whole point of this video is I just wanted to share that with you. Um, wanted to be super vulnerable and see, you know, everybody needs that. We all need a little bit of motive. <clears throat> we all need reminders. We all need something that's going to stay on track. That's why I write goals. That's why I journal. That's why I figure out what the fuck is wrong with me. Because if you never sit down, if you never take time by yourself to iron all that stuff out, you're never ever going to think about it. You're never going to know what's wrong unless you actually ask the questions to figure it out. Let me say this, and I'm going to say this one more time. No one is coming to save you not one person, it's up to you. And everything that you do creates a ripple effect. People are watching you, whether you know it or not. You never know what you do, how much of an impact that's gonna have on another person. And so it's not just you that you're affecting. Your decisions aren't just affecting you, they're affecting every single person around you. I'm hungry. Uh, sorry I had to get super inspirational Instagram meme on you. But, you know, these things are important too. You can't be a silly goose your whole life, even though it's kind of what I do. Hey, let me ask you a question. You guys on Twitter? Uh, I never used my Twitter, but now I am. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been sharing a lot more of my tweets. Uh, and, I don't know, I've been actually having kind of fun with it, using it, tweeting about five times a day. Whatever comes in my brain comes out. That might actually be a dangerous situation, but we'll see how it works out. So if you're on Twitter, follow me on there. Actually, um, I'm gonna post this, and then if you shout it from the rooftops, or just retweet, that's fine, uh, I'll give you a shout out. Hey, um, Brittany Hazlitt, thanks for being the newest gnocchi to the pot, AKA subscriber to the Real Chef family. Thanks for being a real one. So now that we broke out the Kleenex, and I was a little vulnerable with you, tell me what you got going on. Like, what are you really working on? I don't want the superficial stuff. Tell me the goods. Let me in. Let me inside. That's weird. Tell me what you're working on in your life. I would love to help if I can. I'm here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's one of the biggest things that you're struggling with right now? I sincerely, sincerely want to know. I appreciate all the support. Hey, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. That literally means the world. 
Did you ever think we would get to 948? What am, whatever I'm at right now. Did we? No, never thought so. But let's get to a thousand. Hugs for everybody. Let's get to a thousand. Not 100. We don't keep it 100. We keep it 1,000. Put the emoji up there. Add a zero. Put the emoji up. Times about 10. Thank you guys for watching. Share this with every single person you know. Dead or alive, put it out there. If you don't share it, what? What, what a fucking nightmare. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I haven't done this in a little bit, but I wanna ramp this back up. Remember a while ago, we used to do this thing called Nyo Keys to Success? I wanna keep doing that. Every week, I'm selecting one person for a little 30 minute FaceTime. Share this, share, share this, all of it. Share me with the world. Share me. Share it on Instagram, share it on Twitter. Share it wherever, and I'll call you. You okay? Win. 30 minutes FaceTime, you and me. Mono e mono, chef e gnocchi, okay? Last but not least, once you share this video, which I know you're gonna do, cause you're monokies, go over to my friend Alex's channel. You might know him and his girlfriend, Sierra, they vlog together, she's got her own thing, but Alex is doing his own thing. Just uploaded a vlog two days ago, or whenever you're watching this, don't matter. Like his video, drop a comment, hey, just tell him Chef sent you. Say, hey, I was over watching Chef's video, now I'm here. Give him a little uh, internet pat on the tush, you know? And, and, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Love y'all, I'll see you soon. Chef out.